So therefore, I would like you to, I think, take out this one. Uh, yeah, because otherwise my whole slide will come down. So I, I like to remember image I show um, three. Sorry. You okay. The three lateral, the three lateral wire, <coughs> gone somewhere. Okay, uh, things here. The three lateral wire. I can see here. Can you all see here? All right. Remember, I think in today, uh, really try not to do medial wires because no matter how skillful you are, no matter even we do all our arthrotomy, medial opening with all the protection. When I went to court, the lawyers showed me. That's why when you become expert witness, because lawyers are damn smart, and the younger the lawyer, the smarter. Unlike doctors, the older you are smarter. The, the, the lawyers, the younger they are, they are the smarter. They actually show, he study all that, and then he said, literature doesn't show any of you offer good protection. So medial wire is a no-no unless you need to do. So if you just do lateral wire, please remember this configuration by heart. The reason is, remember the three wires must occupy at least 60%. I know Sandy gave you the millimeter, but because millimeter can vary from a four-year-old supracon and a 12-year-old supracon. So use this 60% of the width of the bone must be covered by your first wire and your third wire. So almost always use three lateral wire to give you biomechanical uh, advantage. So look at this and remember this uh, picture. You forget everything today. Just remember this because every morning I check my last night supracon. I get my resident and fellow just measure this, and they all critique. They will criticize until they will remember. Okay, I remember my wire must be sixty percent. Okay, and you be surprised. You go back to look at all your wires today. How many of them fail? Because American went through their children hospital fixation, are not just done by. Any other surgeons, but children hospital fixation, and they found that they couldn't have the correct answer. Okay, yeah, my adult surgeon has something to say. Good. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm I'm really no expert in children at all. I just treat them once in a while, but uh, in my experience, I in those fractures, I always go for also for medial wire. Yeah? Because biomechanically, at least from my understanding, it gives a lot better stability. And you really have to be aware about the ulnar. So my impression is a little bit, uh, we just uh, trying to build up some complicated uh, techniques just to avoid the lawyers. Yeah? OK. So and is, so, it, is it really, do you no, think? No, uh, don't, don't worry. I, I, there's no argument between me and you and here at all. Okay, listen to this. Three lateral wires, cadaveric study, same stability as a cross medial and lateral wire. Okay? And let me show you. So, just in case you think there's some conflict of opinion, nothing at all here. Because let me show you this. Okay? Here it is. You can see that, other than these nice, straightforward things, okay, almost all my difficult supracon almost always end up have a supplement of a medial wire. You understand? So, and almost because sharks at the end, biomechanically, Although cadaveric studies say that, but on table, I had to, no choice but add in this medial wire. So unfortunately, I had to agree with you on that. I, although so I don't want to agree with you, but in practice, I have to agree simply because, but, but why I tell all these people this? Because really, because when I went to court, uh, medial wire is something, and, and you know, ulnar nerve, iatrogenic injury, uh, I, only I, from us. I think, James, it's important for people to realize that they need to assess the stability on table after their pinning is done and then decide on pin configuration, addition, deletion. All right. Don't take things for granted. 
because the supracondylars that you see now are not all transverse. There are various configurations. Do your rotational maneuvers, look at the columns, and if you feel a medial pin is needed, go for a safe medial pinning, open it, see the ulna now, do all things that you need. And if it is an oblique, you 100% need a medial pin. So there's no argument. Yeah. But if it is a standard transverse fracture, which is amenable and two pins are giving you the similar stability, if you could avoid it, avoid it. And you okay. look at this. Now I'm happy. Yeah, this is a classical. That's why I say there's no conflict between me, you and me. Don't worry. And this is a classical. Uh, you know, my current fellow Malik, he'll say, say, Prof, why on earth? Why is Singapore supracondyl are so, so bad always? You know, all these kids, what are they doing? And this is the they saw supracondylar we are getting nowadays. Five year old. Why on earth? What sort of nonsense sports activity is this? You know what I mean? This is not your supracon, right? So with this. It's not only one media wire, I had to put in two media wires, right? You know, I hate this, but... Close. Yeah, all, all close. Yeah, all close. I mean, we're almost all close. Okay, then this is what uh, Sandeep talked about, the, some of the high ones. And, and here, my high ones are slightly different, as in, I will put uh, actually three pins, <coughs> because I will use one wire, to go as intramedullary, and then the other two to catch uh, bicortical. That's the typical uh, configuration I use for a high uh, supracord. And I think one more thing that uh, uh, Sandy, okay, I need to end just last one, last one. I just show this. Sorry, very very uh, typical. The all the ecchymosis and all that very bad ones, and then you really irreducible and open. And open, as Koreans show you, uh, actually is much better to do anterior approach. Because a lot of us were taught in the old days, mid tricep splitting from back. And remember, <coughs> the fracture already gets traumatized in front anteriorly. And you now you go and, you know, I call it, you, the poor fracture was ripped, and then you murder at the back some more. You know what I mean? It's terrible, correct? So please. Do it all from the front nicely, and then you can reduce that. And then the sky is beautiful, and there's no um, Jupiter's virus. Okay, so thank you. Thank you. Thank you, James. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed the pediatric session.